Hi, my name is Avi Schwartz. Last week I wrote a post about my experience that happened to me in Zichon Yaakov. It was Wednesday night, about midnight, and I was sitting at a convenience store drinking a cup of coffee in the open Israeli air. And I was relaxing, I was about to open my Talmudic app and learn a page of Gemara. Just then, a young man approached me from the dark. I was quite apprehensive and uh, he began to ask me where or if the last bus to Haifa had left. I said I didn't know. And then when he realized that the last bus did leave, he, was, he became very, very anxious. He became anxious because he told me that he had a young wife and a toddler back in the village. This man happened to be a young Muslim Arab. And I began to listen to the story and I was quite wary of the situation. Should I help him out, not help him out? Was this a setup? Should I trust this fellow or should I ignore him? At that moment, all my experience in education came to play. I am the son of a very famous Israeli war hero, who though was an incredible warrior, hated war. I am the son of an ardent Zionist who taught me Zionism is about peace. I'm also a very staunch critic of BDS and its lies. I'm also a Jew, and that means I'm a descendant of Abraham, of Abraham, who loved all humanity, and I'm also a rabbi. And that meant I took the situation as though God had sent me this person to test my commitment and my courage and my kindness. So I evaluated the situation, I thought about it, and I made the decision. And I told the young man, I'll drive you to your village. He was stunned. He couldn't believe that I was going to drive him. I said, no, come into my car, it's fine, no problem, and we'll drive. He said, how much money do you want for it? I said, not a, nothing, not a dime, not a shekel. So, we got into the car, and both of us felt fear. We both thought that maybe this is an ambush. Maybe I would ambush him, maybe he would ambush me, maybe he would attack me, I would attack him, who knows. We were both a little fearful, but we got into the car. And we drove out of the gas station, and onto the highway, and we headed towards Haifa. As we were driving, he began to tell me about his holiday, and about the amount of food that's eaten, eaten on the holiday, and the amount of meat, and I began to tell him about our holidays, and also the food that we eat on our holiday, the cuisine. And it began to see that there are certain commonalities between both of us. We began to discuss. And as he was driving, he took out his phone, and he showed me a picture of his young wife, She's 17, he's 24, and their young baby. And you could see in his eyes that he really, really loves her and he really cares about his baby. And he told me in the car the only reason why he didn't stay in the gas station all night because he made a promise to his wife that he would be at home in time to take care of him and his wife, and uh, I'm sorry, his wife and his child, and that he didn't want them to be alone. And I was very impressed by that. I told him you're doing a wonderful thing. That's the way a father should act. That's the way a husband should act. Keeping your word to your wife, being there for your child. And I told him, in Hebrew, you say, Yashar Koyach, more power to you. You know, wonderful job. So as we're driving to the village, I told him of my family, and he told me of his father and so forth. And we came into the village, and I entered into the village itself, and I dropped him off. And as I dropped him off, he asked me, how can I pay you? I said, you don't have to pay me, but do me a favor. Tell your friends that we and you, the Jews and the Muslims, are the children of Aham, the children of Ibrahim. And therefore we have to be a family and recognize each other as a family and respect each other and honor each other as a family and make peace. He shook my hand and he was very glad and he said, Yes, my brother, I agree. He said, I will tell that my brother Avi brought me back to my wife and to my child. And that's what he's going to tell his wife, and that's what he did tell his wife. And he, as he left the car, he said to me, you're always welcome to my village, and come and you can bake bread together. He left the car, and I left the village, and we both were very, very happy. And I think we both were very proud of ourselves. At that moment, I knew that I brought pride to my parents, to my Zionism, to my country, and to my God. The test came to me, that moment, the moment of truth. Would I have the courage to represent the Jewish state in Zionism for what really is? A state that respects all the citizens and recognizes both Arab and Jew 
having a love for the country and that all minorities are part of Israel and that the Jewish state respects everyone. And more importantly, that all of us are made in God's image and we have to respect each other and love each other with kindness and honor and humility. And really say, that I passed my test. To all you who have been sharing my post, I am truly humbled and honored by you sharing the post and by the wonderful comments and comments that you have given. Thank you.